is up YouTube, I'm Xavier Elon and today we are going over Ballad Pound Drone 2. Alright, so Ballad Pound Drone 2. Um, given a non-empty string S, you may delete at most one character, judge whether you can make it a palindrome. Um, so they just give us ABA, um, if we delete B, um, it's a valid palindrome. And if we delete C, well I guess, no, this is a palindrome in itself. So if we delete C here, um, it's ABA, um, it's a valid palindrome. So what we want to try to do is um, use recursion to help us because we don't want to have to actually like delete the character, but we can skip the character through recursion. Um, so we can do, consider like, it's going to be two parts. One part is going to be, um, we're going to have use two pointers again. If you guys saw my first video on valid palindrome one, we use two pointers, so start and end. Um, so for example, if we have start here and end here, uh, these two are the same, so we move them in, and then we have B and C. Um, so what we want to do is uh, increase start, but keep end the same, and check to see if that'll be a palindrome. So if we do that, we'll see that it's equal, um, they're equal to each other, so we return true. Um, and we reach the end and but if we have a longer example so for example a b c d b a um it would go a and a and a are the same whoops something's clicking my mouse a and a are the same b and b are the same we move them in um this is still a bad example um, so now we'd be at D and C. Um, so they're not equal, so we could pass uh, start plus one and end as the same. So it would start would be here and end would be here. Um, those aren't those aren't equal. So then we could try uh, end minus one, but start is the same. So start will be here. We'd move we'd decrement end. Um, basically like mimicking deleting it uh, we don't actually have to delete it because we just have to return true and so now these two are the start start is start is at the first C end is at the second C we see that they're the same um, and then we return true so let's do that so we're gonna use a helper function because we're doing recursion um, so we're gonna have the string s int start int and and there was one more thing oh boolean deleted so this is what we're going to use to determine if we are deleted a string or a character i'm sorry so um let's just return helper s um zero s dot length minus one and false Okay, so um, if start is greater than or equal to end, then we are just going to return true. That's um, that's basically signifying we've reached the end without returning false. And so then the next thing is if s dot car at uh, uh, start does not equal s that car at end then I don't like that sorry if uh, deleted is true we need to return false otherwise we're going to try the Two solutions that the two possible scenarios where we either increment one or increment start by one or decrement end and keep start the same so let's do that helper s uh, start plus one keep end the same and um, true so this is where we're we're de deleting it so we have to pass it as true and oops helper s start keep start the same end minus one and true 
and then down here we're just going to recursively call helper s so we're just going to keep them the same here and pass false this time because we haven't used our deleted character yet um actually we're going to pass deleted we don't want to pass false because we might actually have to um change it so let's see if that works return helper s start uh stack overflow error Is it false? I, I thought it would be deleted. S start and um So there's something I'm not seeing here. Oh, okay. Duh. I didn't freaking decrementum and inc incrementum. And wrong answer still. So what are we doing wrong? Let's debug this. Uh, oh, yeah, we need to. So we do need to pass deleted. I was right the first time. I just forgot to change it. So, yeah, there we go. Um, it's not the fastest solution. Um, I'm sure it has to do with the recursive stack. I thought it was an easy solution, though. Um, so we're just passing it. Uh, I believe it's O of N. I actually never checked. So um, O of N, but we're our space complexity. Uh, I think it should be O of N because we have a recursive stack. I'm not 100% sure. I actually do need to research this one. But um, that's how you guys solve it. If this video helped you guys, smash that like button. I post videos every weekday, so I'll see you guys in the next video.